Tottenham. So what do we have here? So we have Man City against um, Huddersfield. Man City against Huddersfield. So it's going to be tough. To, um, let's just be real here. It's going to be tough for Huddersfield. They, they will get beat. Huddersfield have a 0% chance of defeating Man City. Either home or away, but especially away from home, they have a 0% chance. So I think for Man City... This is about them just really getting into gear because I think that away game, tough game, going away from home, but they were able to perform well and get the win over Arsenal. But I think right now, I think what Guardiola will want, and guys, don't worry, I'm going to do my review on the All or Nothing documentary. One of the most fascinating documentaries I've ever seen. Just crazy. Just Pep is a psycho. So, I mean, I've, I think I've got two or three, I think I've got two episodes left. I'm doing my, my review because that has to be broke, broken down. But yeah, look, um, so yeah, so looking at this right now, um, yeah, I think for Man City, this is just about them just really swaggering. And I think what Godilla will want is Maris to, to get his goal. I think he would want more than anything to be able to dominate the game, but to play superbly well. The worst thing Godilla would want is if they, they win, but they struggle to win and they don't have a performance. I think he really wants them to get into that mindset of defending their title. And I think to get into that mindset, you know, that's really huge, big, amazing performance. So I think for him, it's looking like we need to get four, five, perhaps even six goals, but to play amazing pass and move for football. And I think especially watching the documentary as well, you see the amount of detail, the amount of detail that goes into this Man City team. And you just see how obsessive, Godilla is into the detail. Like every single player has like a bloody chart this big of all the things that they need, need to know. So it is just crazy when you look at high level football, but for specific managers like, like Godiola, who goes into ridiculous, amazing detail into every game that he wants. But I think, again, look, I don't want to say too much because I want to save um, that documentary. But just one thing to apply to this just the whole thing of how Godiola says that he doesn't care about the opposition. It's about how well his team plays. And I think he got that from Johan Cruyff, where we don't worry about the position. We don't change the opposition. We just worry about what we do. Because if we do what we do at the best of our abilities, we cannot be beaten. And I think in this game, I think for Godilla, he'll know that Huddersfield, and again for Huddersfield, they have to sit city deep. They've got to get men behind the ball. They've got to um, go um, congest. They have to force City to play in front of them. Because again, a little tidbit that you hear again from the documentary is Godilla wants... Short pass, short pass, short, short pass. They come to press upon us. They're, they're, they're spacing behind. You then hit the ball over them. So if you're a team, especially you're an inferior team going against Stacey, don't press them. Don't press them. Press them when they come near your 18 box, but don't press them at the halfway line. Because if you press them at the halfway line, they are too skilled. They are too good to pass around you, get past you, and then you leave that space being behind you, and then boom, you're being affected. So I think for Huddersfield, they have to sit deep have men behind the ball, force City to pass in front of them and make sure that there is nothing in behind them. And as they're, as they're going with men behind the ball, watch for the runs that Sterling makes. Watch for the, the runs that, that, that Silva makes. Managers really make those runs, but especially for Sterling and Silva, who are very quick, very smart, very intelligent players, just watch for any runs in behind. But sit, sit deep, sit deep, sit deep, force them to play in front of you. And I think for Man City... What they want to do is pass the ball quick. The quicker they pass the ball, the quicker they move the ball, and the better they will be. And I think what Godilla doesn't want, don't overpass. Don't pass too much. Pass within necessity. Don't pass for the sake of passing. Make every pass mean something. Make every move mean something. But always look for that critical pass. Always look for that throw ball. Always look for that one two and try to move the opposition. And I think that is what they should try and do. Especially with a team that will try and frustrate them, it's about aggressively chasing the goal. Because if they sit back and they're too patient and they're not really aggressively chasing the goal, that is when mistakes can set in. That is when lapses in concentration can set in. So despite that, um, I'm gonna go with um, five one. I'm, go I'm, go I'm, go I'm, go I'm gonna go with five one. City five. Um, what is full one? I, th I, th I I do see a beat down in this. I I I, I do see a, re a reincarnation. In this, so I'm gonna go with a 5 1 to Man City over Huddersfield. All right, peace. Thank you for watching this video. 
Think about pledging and become a half a football hot patron. Pledge an amount each month and gain access to exclusive videos from your boy, the football hot, for more analysis. Peace.